What's up guys, this video is going to be on the little tweaks I found in iOS 5 after a few days use. The first one is when you load the music app, let it uh, resume there. Alright, when you load the music app, you see if the al if the artist's name is too long for the space in between the uh, album cover thingy there and the back button, uh, it scrolls across. It didn't do that in iOS 4, just to check earlier, I looked at my mom's phone with iOS 4 and it, well, it doesn't do that. So, uh, second tweak here I found in Maps uh, has alternate routes, so it doesn't work with all addresses, but it works with this address. So, Lido Beach. Alright, so it has Route 1 there, which says 25 minutes with traffic, and Route 2 is also 25 minutes, but Route 3 is 30 minutes. So you see three of three suggested routes right there, and obviously you're not going to take route three if it's 30 minutes, but it's good to have alternate routes because, let's say, you know, if you have two choices and one has traffic, or if you don't like driving on a certain highway or road, well, now you have two choices. doesn't, again, always work because some addresses don't have multiple routes, but most addresses do. So that's a welcome addition. Um... One quick little thing here I saw is that in settings you have to set this. Uh, it doesn't. It comes the exact opposite way. But in Safari, uh, it says open links when when it when it comes it says open links in a new page. But I set it to open links in background because it's just a lot better in the background. Uh, how awesome is that? So now if you're reading a web page and you want to queue up a link here. I want to read that in a little while. Actually, I just clicked Add to Reading List by accident. But open in background. So now that 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 link is going to be down, that that link is going to be loading while I'm reading this. So mm, constraint supplies suggest Mac Mini server and Mac Pro server headed for refresh. Refresh. Okay, that's good stuff. Ready to read the other link, and you can see that it's already loaded in almost fully, and. It should finish any second now, but you can see that it loaded it in the background. So that's definitely a nice feature to have. Um, the calendar now supports landscape mode in iOS 4, uh, well, dot 3. If you tried to, let's say, move to landscape, it would just get locked and nothing would happen. There simply was no landscape mode. Now, there is a landscape mode, and you can swipe between your weeks and you can see all your events of course I don't have any events so it's not very useful but for people who use their calendar a lot to be able to view it in landscape mode uses more of the screen is definitely definitely a nice feature so uh, one last thing here uh, in settings you can now set whether or not you'd like to have a uh, emoji keyboard so an emoji keyboard you go to settings international and keyboards. You can add a new keyboard. You are always able to add a new keyboard, but now there's a new option for an emoticon keyboard emoji right there. Before it would go Dutch, Estonian, Finnish, Finnish, uh, and then Flemish, whatever. I don't know what the hell those are, but uh, emoji was not a not an option. Now it is. So if you enable emoji, and now you can do emoticons in text. Let me show you. Um, okay, so. I will try to send a text to my mom. It, uh, emoticons will only uh, work on... Well, you can see right there that it loaded that my mom has an iDevice, uh, but she doesn't have iOS 5, so she doesn't have iMessage. Uh, so with if someone isn't eligible for, eligible for iMessage, Apple it checks in Apple's back end very quickly, and then if someone isn't eligible for iMessage, it'll load up as green for regular text messages that will count against your data rates. Um, anyway, so you see when you have an international keyboard or a global keyboard set up, it brings this little uh, world icon. When you select that, now you can see that I have emoticons. So I can send my mom a hey with an emoticon, and it will show up on her end. If you send an emoticon to someone without an eye device, however, it will show up as gibberish. It won't be really legible, and it won't be important. It won't. It, it just won't look like an actual smiley face. Now, if I send this to my mom, it will show up as a smiley face. So it's pretty cool. I like emoticons. Uh, oh, one thing though, I don't really actually use the emoticon keyboard because the problem is that 
The problem is that when you have that set up, when you have two different keyboard modes, it takes your um, number sign to get to the numbers and and the other half of the keyboard where the, the question mark and the commas is is now a lot smaller, you see, because it divided up the button that used to take the full space like return does is now divided up into two and so the world takes up half that space. I don't like that because I want to quickly be able to go to my question mark and comma without having to look, without having to make it a big deal. So I have this feature off, but it's definitely going to be good for people who like uh, BlackBerry messaging uh, where you they use emoticons, and it's a nice, also, well-conditioned, and that's good stuff. So, I would be done, but I wanted to uh, respond to a user comment. They wanted me to show them what Twitter looks like. So, uh, what, what, a, what posting a tweet looks like. Uh, I showed the option of tweeting, but I didn't actually go through with it. So now I'm going to show you. I'll click tweet here, and it loads in the little widget. Uh, and it puts in a thumbnail, the Macrimers page, and uh, there. You, so I'll start uh, typing. Hey guys, looks like a refresh. Looks like a refresh is coming. And you can see as I'm typing, the number ticker is going down to say how many out of 140 uh, characters you have left. It's not how many you've used. I haven't used 80 characters. You see, I haven't typed that much. But it's how many you have left. So send, and I will show you by going to the Twitter app that it goes through. So you see a nice post by Soldier Knows Best. Good stuff. Uh, and you see right there, hey, guys, looks like a refresh is coming. And then macrimers.com link is right there. So... That's the stuff. That's the newest video. Anything else you'd like me to show you with iOS 5? Anything uh, you think could be changed? I'll check it out for you. I'll do a video response. So, uh, peace.